no matter. No matter. This dish will so never see the light, light of day. day. And oh, God. God. Getting fired. <laughs> Good job. To you, let's see what she says. This is you. In today's video, I'm gonna be saving Slurpee's turnip stew and the royal kitchen from evil chef Shabulini, who's angry because Slurpee got him fired. So I'm your host, One Doctor Genius, and let's get into today's video. So in today's video, I'm doing a huge boss fight against Chef Shabulini, who is currently angry at us because we got him fired by putting raisins in the queen's stew. So in today's video, I'm stealing back. Slurpee stew and once I steal back Slurpee stew, I will get Chef Shavulini his job back. So without a further ado, let's get right into our video. If you guys haven't noticed yet, slimes, Chef Shabulini, Slurpee, well that all relates with Bonfire Spire, the volcano. And now if we click over here, as you guys can see, our task is to use the boots of Hot Swalk and get to the chef and defeat him. Alright guys, I just realized something. Why is it that Scientist Slime Era is always in Lamp Light Town, while Kindy Corn, the slime for Halloween Fest or Pumpkin Fest, well, she lives on some other island because nowhere can you find Kindy Corn in this world. So now, without further ado, let's get straight into our video and let's hunt down Chef Shabolini. So let's follow the magical guide hand and do as it says. It is the hand of the guidance. Alright, let's just scroll across the side over here and battle Mr. Puck and his friends. Right, here we go. Monster battle has loaded up and let's obliterate them. Also, do you guys like my wand choice? Well, I do. So yeah, let's cast a spell Falling Star Smash and instantly obliterate this guy. So, oh, Mundo. And we shall be doing 4,030 damage. It's not too shabby though. That is a nice number, I guess you could say. And looks like Mr. Puck strikes back doing 3000 damage, which isn't too shabby, not too bad. Right, so let's save this up and see. I kind of want to use my all-out attack on Chef Shabulini when I think he's weak. So maybe we might be able to do 10,000 damage to Mr. Chef Shabulini and he will be destroyed in an instant. But yeah guys, that's all. We've just finished our battle here and Mr. Puck has been terminated instantly. Right, so guys, I'd recommend sticking around till the end so you guys can hear some of my theories about Mr. Chef Shabulini and other stuff in Prodigy. So yeah, let's move on into this video. Let's gain ourselves our member stars and let's get straight to it. And it seems like we got some sort of turtle wand. Whoa, guys, we just got a turtle topper. Right, this is a turtle cannon wand. You know what, let's wear it and let's do some battling. Right, so as you guys can see, I defeated the monster over there, so let's head down, down the staircase over here. Right, guys, so this battle loads up. Let's go and let's fight our ice sneak and then head to the magical guide hand. So as you guys can see over here, it looks like our cool wand is over here. It looks like the turtle is like stuck inside of the wand. Right, if we look at our wand, as you guys can see, it's not too shabby. It kind of looks like an aggro turtle trying to attack its enemies. So, so we just answered our question, correct? And looks like we should be doing approximately 3,708 damage to our enemy. Not too shabby, nor is it too good. Alright, let's cast our attack again and see how much more damage we do. So as you guys can see there, I just got myself a skill. Looks like we did 3,690 damage to Mr. Flame Meek. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly finish off this battle. So let's use Supernova and destroy Mr. Flame Meek and his friends. Awesome! You can perform a focus! You know what? That's good. Let's perform a focus spell. You'll instantly win this battle. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna answer a focus spell. Let's play this question. You're basically asking me to play 7th 8th on 7th 8th of the number line. These are very interesting questions. And what is up with that bar on the bottom? What was that? Wait, what? Did we just do 231,500 something damage? Holy guacamole, that's like murder overkill. That's so much damage. Oh yeah, there you guys go. We've answered our question correct. We did like a super nuclear spell, which did more damage than what an all other attack does. So yeah, guys, these are the most powerful spells in Prodigy, the focus spells are. Now, if you guys want to learn more about focus spells, so I made a video about them just a few months ago. So yeah, go check that video out. It will tell you your information. And yeah, so it looks like from this battle, we got 200 gold, 20 hot hots, two star shards, and one copper coin. Right. Guys, so let's keep on going across over here. Let's skip this battle over here and let's head to the side. Do to do do pity da pity do who heading downstream and it looks like we're gonna have to battle ourselves an ember. 
All right, let's go. Bamity boppity beep. Let's battle this ember, and then we can go destroy Chef Shabulini. So right, let's macaroni that next button, head to the side over here, and see how the situation is going. Wait, right, guys. So as you can see, we loaded up over here. So now let's do this. Let's click on the arrow hand, and we're gonna be taken across straight to Chef Shabulini into the Garden Gateway. Right here we go. There's Chef Shabulini. What? How did you get over here? You, you are slimeless. No matter. No matter. This dish will no never see the light, light of day. day. And God. God. Okay, so it apparently looks like Chef Savellini is French. Interesting. Fight me. Hey ya, ha ha ha. Bam boppity boo. Ah. Boss battle. All right. Always start the battle with an appetizer. Uh, this isn't food. No one starts battles with appetizer, Mr. Chevalini. <laughs> I don't know where you live, but okay. Alright, guys, so let's cast ourselves the spell Toronto and see how much damage we'll do. And now, if we take a moment to look at Chef Chevalini's face, well, all I can say is that's a pretty interesting animation. I mean, what's going on there, Mr. Chef Chevalini? Uh, is your face okay? I mean, that's interesting a bit. Oh wait, what? He attacked us? Wait guys, in my previous boss battles, Chef Shabulini would never do damage to us, but he attacked us this time. What? Looks like we did another 4,000 damage, which is humongous. Right, that's 4,000 damage. And it looks like his dish opened its mouth and fired some sort of cannons against us. That's that goo inside of it. Is that like some sort of slime goo? I think that Chef Shabellini might have been making slime to take over the world of Prodigy, guys. Still hungry? Time for the main course. What? Wait, guys, the main course is a burger? Nani? What is this? Wonderful. Okay, so it looks like the main course is a burger filled with fish bones, bones, turnips, and is that a trilobite? What sort of food do these people eat? And looks like we should be doing another 4,000... 3,000 damage. Okay, that's not too bad. But right, as you guys can see, we did enough damage. And I think there may be a spring in Mr. Burger. Yeah, guys, if you look over there, it looks like Mr. Burger has a spring inside of him. And if you guys see over here, it looks like our shiny all out button attack is ready. So let's click it and see how much damage we'll do to Chef Sabulini. And looks like we shall be casting our all out attack with all of our pets' mites and doing. Whoa! Did we just do 13,000 damage? Wow! I just terminated Chef Shabulini without even seeing his future evolutions. I mean, 13,000 damage? That's ridiculous. That's stronger than some all out attacks. Yeah, guys, but unfortunately, I couldn't battle his giant jelly slime, but that's okay. At least we hit level 93 and we got ourselves a wand. Right, looks like we got ourselves the angel wing, which isn't too shabby, not too shabby at all. Right, now let's click the I not admit, now. You have not just the best in me in the battle, a but also, also in the cooking. kitchen. Your cooking, it's it is exquisite. exquisite. Yep, it is. That dish of yours, I must have your recipe. Well, actually, we didn't cook it. What? Then you must bring the chef to the queen. She would demand such a talent in her kitchen. Oh, Alright guys, so there we go. We've defeated Chef Sabellini. But now what we need to do is we need to get ourselves the gem. So let's do this quickly, right? We've gotten ourselves the candle wands. Let's not do that. Yep, it sure is. Still not mad about the whole getting fired <laughs> Good job. Right, so now what we have to do the is. Ship was neat. Right, so I think what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to head back over there. Right, so let's quickly race across all of these battles because we don't have to do any single battle, right? Guys, do you see this? I'm not doing a single battle in the world. Not at all. Except for that guy who just got in my way. But let's keep on heading down. Let's see if I can do a zero battle blitz streak. Right, here we go. We've just skipped the flame girl over there. Let's head over here. Let's click on the kitchen door. Here we go. We're heading into the kitchen door. Right, here we go. Chef Slurpy. What? This is a slime slime ling. Is this a joke? What sort of queen are you? Do you not value your slime people? 
Wow, you are a terrible queen, okay? Right, let's see what. No joke, madame. Here is but a taste of a talent. talent. All right, let's see. Let's see the turnips to you. Let's see what she says. This is your turnips to you. It is decided then. You will become the new royal chef. Better than his. What? But you only know how to make one dish. Oh my gosh. Wait, is he jumping away? Oh no! Don't and leave! I think uh, what he is trying to say is that Slurpee wants to become my new apprentice in the royal kitchen. Yes, that of seems course, right. I would need my job back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I haven't eaten in hours, and as long and as you don't you break any rules, royal rules again. again. But of course, never in my life, madame. Yeah, it was this guy's fault. You can see he's pointing his fist. All finished. Let's okay. head back, okay? okay. Alright, let's smack Rooney that okay button. We've returned to Slurpee. Chef's apprentice. I can learn more about being a chef before I have a lot of responsibility. Right, I think you'll have enough responsibility anyways. I the gift of fire. What is the gift of fire? Now that you've proven you're worthy, I can give you this. The, the bonfire bond gem. Right, so as you guys can see, I've gotten myself powerful fire relic ring and the bonfire gem. Alright, let's hit that next button. And here we go. We have finally completed bonfire spire. Hooray! Yeah. We have just completed bonfire spire, so that's one more place down. And now, all we need to do is we need to complete Skywatch, which I'm already ready for, right? So guys, don't forget to keep an eye out for my next video, because in my next video, I'm going to be getting ourselves the Skywatch gem. And then I'm going to have all five gems, meaning I will be the Thanos of Prodigy, and I will destroy all of Prodigy. Dun, dun, dun. And yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. Hope you did enjoy this. And if you did, don't forget to smack me in that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up, and I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house.